Hi, I'm Tom, this is Sony365. This is Bob the Bonsai, he's back with a vengeance. And still alive, surprisingly. The leaks were correct, the rumors were true. The XM4s were worth waiting for. Here are the details for you now. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned in this video because not only are we talking about the upcoming XM4s, we're also gonna cover some not cool PlayStation 5 news, but then there's a really uh, uplifting ending which is gonna improve all of our lives. Without any further ado, gotta check out the Walkman blog. Here's what it is, and the link is in the video description below. No one is on top of this more than this chap here, and it's always worth checking out his site. Actually, follow him on Twitter as well, and Extreme Reviews, our friend Klim in Russia. Russia is now doing reviews in English. So let's get these pictures on the screen now for you. I think you'll agree it's freaking awesome to to quote my friend Klim. Right, what are we dealing with here? The good news is that the main form factor, as we had hoped, is gonna be smaller. It does look more svelte. We are dealing with an extra microphone here, it seems, and that means better call quality, and that, for me, was the only significant weak spot there. Although, I, yeah, I always like to see them getting smaller there because, you know, running around and all that kind of stuff. You feel more confident they're not gonna fall out. But there's more, because not only do we have these images, courtesy of our friend here at the Walkman blog, we've also got these. Check out this case. Now again, it looks smaller. It looks a little bit more, how should we say, discreet perhaps? Not quite as blingy, is that fair to say, as the previous generation with the beautiful, I mean, it is still beautiful, copper lid. But I like the fact it's nice and stealth here. It looks cool, a little bit more compact, and power share and wireless charging. This is something I really wanted to see. I can't say that, I mean, I can't imagine that I'm gonna be using this functionality on the One Mark III. Not just because I don't know how I'm going to afford the One Mark III, but even if I could buy it outright, am I gonna use that functionality a lot? I don't know, but it's nice to have it there. Also, I want to know, in terms of how the XM4s here are shaping up, is this what you wanted? Is it what you expected? I know that the Sony 365 crowd is probably the toughest audience, you know, when it comes to, you have high expectations, guys, and I, I respect that, but let me know if you think it's you know, meeting your expectations. I gotta say, I'm feeling very good about this. So yeah, back to the earphones themselves there and you know, the touch sensitive area here. I don't know, it's, I just really like the look of these, but the question is, when are they coming out? Well, it looks like possibly as soon as June the 8th. And for all the reasoning behind that, check out the Walkman blog there and um, you'll be fully up to speed. Now, I mentioned our good friend, um, Zach Bucks a little earlier. He's also, of course, as you know, relatively recently been talking about the U potential, the new Ultra, the Z Ultra, Z Ultra. What do you think is actually going on there? I've seen many folks suggesting that it could be an L4 replacement, could be a budget model. Some folks thinking it could be a mid-tier level device, but just with a really big screen, possibly stylus support. And others suggesting, no, 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 this is gonna be the big boy, the absolute best of the best in the second half of 2021. I don't know if that's, I mean, how many flagships are we really gonna be dealing with here? Because at the dusty end there, right up where, you know, they cost a lot. Yes, we've got the 5 Mark III and the 1 Mark III and the Xperia Pro. Is there really room for another mega flagship? Personally, I hope it is. I mean, I, whatever it is, I hope it turns out to exist and to be real. I can't help but feel there's a chance, a chance it could be a step back into tablet territory. And if that were the case, my goodness, I'd be happy. I really want to see Sony back in the tablet space again. But anyway, let me know what you think it is and what you want it to be in the comments section below. And follow us on uh, social media. I always forget to say that. We'll be doing tons of stuff there as well, breaking Sony news. So just very quickly, back one more time, I forgot to mention Hi-Res Audio Wireless, LDAC, that still looks like it's very much in the picture there, so super happy about that. Don't forget, these are only prototypes, so let's not get too carried away, but we're in good shape. Anyone who took our advice and decided to wait for these, I think you're gonna feel really good about that decision. And if you're deciding to wait for the mega deals on the XM3s, which are gonna be just around the corner, I'm sure, that would have been a smart move too. And maybe if you don't make a lot of calls, you know, you don't need that extra mic microphone for the improved call quality, again, you could get some cracking deals there. So make sure you go to sony365.com and sign up for our deals newsletter. The link is in the description below and you'll get all of those deals straight through to your inbox. And don't forget, we have these silent white 
I mean, my goodness, they look fantastic. These are only for a limited time only. I'll put links in the description below. I think these are only for Europe as things currently stand. Gotta say, they look cool. I'm not sure how good they'd look after, you know, three years of heavy use. They might look a little bit, you know, less white, but um, either way, these look cool. So that's all the good news. Now for the not so good news, PlayStation 5. So Chief Financial Officer Hiroki Totoki, which I'm almost certain I've said totally wrong, has said unfortunately that these difficulties in getting hold of the PlayStation 5 are likely to continue into 2022. I mean, look, you can't blame Sony too much for this, I have to say, the global semiconductor shortage is a real thing and there are multiple reasons why uh, that's been happening and it does also come off the back of Sony's success here. They've already sold 7.8 million PlayStation 5 consoles. I mean that's absolutely, you know, well done Sony. You've really smashed it out of the park here. They're actually hoping to sell another 14.8 million over the next 12 months. So it's two things, it's the lack of semiconductors here and also the fact that Sony's doing such a great job and they've made a really winning product here. So, you know, well done. So there we have it, that's it for this one. On behalf of Bob and myself, thank you so much for watching. Check out the community tab because I did recently ask anyone who lives in any country in the world where you can't easily get hold of Xperia devices, let me know in the community tab and even in the comments here as well, where do you get your Xperia's from? How do you import them? Do you have to pay additional taxes? How does it all work? I'm trying to learn as much as I can so I can talk to these companies and see if we can make it easier for you to get hold of these devices. One more thing I forgot to say, here in the Sony 365 community, we have to kind of help each other out with stuff. And I just want to throw an idea out there how we can uh, use this delay between the announcement of the new phones for 2021, you know, and them actually arriving to our advantage. Do you know this guy, Joe Wicks? Is that his name? Well, I really like this particular chap when it comes to, you know, these, I don't really like exercising and staying in shape uh, at all, quite the opposite in fact. Uh, but I've decided I'm gonna do this particular exercise, link in the video description below, every single day until either the one Mark III or the five Mark III, come to think of it, or the 10 Mark III, is in the studio. So that way, if the delays are really bad, at least I'll be absolutely ripped and we all will if we, go down this route. We might be the fittest smartphone enthusiasts on the planet. So let's try and use, what's that expression? If life gives you lemons, uh, lemonade. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. It turns out the rumors were true. The leaks were right. It was worth waiting for the new MX4s. XM4s, fuck. Without any further ado though, I do, I, ha <laughs> Ready? Really happy to see we have, sorry. <laughs> this will be eight minutes. <laughs>